So, how does it feel to finally be at your premiere? We thought this was a show that we just watched alone at home on our computers for 18 months in a row. So it feels great to finally be here. Yes, to finally feel like it's going to be seen by more than just the two of us 180 yeah. our, times our, all day yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. So how much like tweaking went into it? Like, were you down to like the wire? Like last night, you're on the plane, you're like, oh. There are some actual like sound notes we're still doing on some of the later episodes. Yeah. We, are, but, we like to rearrange yes. the eyelashes on the gnat of the rug, <laughs> which is what we've been doing. For. Uh, but so, that's the nature of these things. People, they will, you'll use all the time you're given. Anyone will. And then, so how did you come uh, up with the casting that you did? Got really lucky. So lucky. Yeah. Oh we my God, really casting lucky. so important. We made a list and we got really fortunate that the people that we wanted agreed to do the show. I mean, it was that simple, but you know, it's a complicated process being in both countries with the time difference and all of that. That was probably, that was probably the hard part. And we were really, really, you know, blessed with the fact that <laughs> stars was very open to <laughs> casting just the people who were great in the role. So we didn't have any mandates. We got to just, you know, cast these really, this really talented, incredible group. And they, they flew with the material. You guys on set in London the whole time or? Okay. Not the whole time. We alternated and most of the time one of us was there. Yeah. We have another producer, Amanda Tedesco, and she was there all the time. So that was really helpful. <laughs> Very complicated. Is this the first project you worked on that was all female producers? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of season one. Yes. We had Stephen Garrett, so he's an executive producer on the show from the beginning. But um, aside from Stephen Garrett, yeah, all women. I'll say yes, but it's kind of a no. And then, I don't even know if it's the truth. Okay. It's hard to pick who's your favorite character, but if you could be one of the characters in your own mind, who would you want to be? That's a good question. I think I would be Jolie because she's the king. Right. You gotta want to be the king. I think Grandchester's powers are, are compelling also and would be very useful in life. So maybe Grandchester. I'm going to let you ladies go. I, I look forward to the show. Rick's already seen it, and I'm sure he's going to have some really good notes about the eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rick.